Hello and welcome to Clady Canopy, the show where I attempt to make just about everything from the ground up. Today I'm going to be working on a basket for my woodland feast. So come on, let's do this. pull in the copper element into the center of the table where the cast ceramic objects are going to be resting on. And I have a bunch of copper hollow tube that is sold at the hardware store that I've had kicking around, a little bit of wire, and some leftover of the really thick wire that I got to finish up the rim around the egg. And it actually was looking at the wire for that that gave me this idea. So this is kind of like a throw together idea. I knew there was going to be a basket or some kind of something that would hold these fruit, but I wasn't quite sure what that was going to be yet. And today I'm going to mess around with this copper bits and try cold forming around this bucket to create something that resembles a crow's nest. Crows are attracted to these very bright shiny things and along with feeding Charles, I have a family or I should say a flock. What are they? Is it a flock? No. A peck? A peck of crows? I don't know. There's, there's a bunch of crows that hang out in the front that fight Charles for his peanuts. So I have taken to feeding them as well. But anyhow, and I took a look at some crow's nests and they have this like larger branching kind of wild, more what you would see in like a traditional bird's nest, but a little bit larger branching maybe than like your, your bits of straw and that type of deal. So um, I am going to just have at it with trying to bend up this wire around the bucket. I want to try and avoid soldering if possible. So I'm going to try and weave the wire into itself. I'll probably start with the really thick stuff to build up a, a somewhat base and then go ahead and weave in some of the smaller stuff. I do have a pipe cutter, tube bender. All right, don't know what's gonna happen here. I'm just gonna go for it. All right, so I was fiddling with this thing and pounding it on this weight that I borrowed. Then I started stripping it down to rework, pounding the coil flat. I was gonna add stuff back in, but then I started messing it with the way it is and the artist in me won here, okay? The implied basket to me is like, there's something really awesome happening with this form right now. And this is much more of an art centerpiece rather than just your typical basket in the center of a table. I'm not gonna mess with it. I actually just fell in love with the way it looks as is. You know, it still holds its form. There's something really great about it. So I'm gonna leave it as is. The one thing I think I do wanna do is connect these two bits of wire here at the center. I think that it's going to be a great centerpiece on the middle of this table. It has just enough of that implication of a bird's nest, especially once you throw in these ceramic apples. It kind of pulls it all together and it has this feel of nesting and when it's off on that table with the natural wood and then my runner that is going to be this like hodgepodge mix of, of fabrics, then I think it's just gonna look really great. So I'm gonna leave it here. This is probably the quickest and easiest video I have done so far. And I gotta tell you, I need a win like that because it's been one heck of a journey working on this woodland feast as usual when I get involved in these giant projects. So 
I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, share, and subscribe uh, if you have not done so already, and stick around to watch this environment come together.